Hi everyone, today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my room. I'm going to be giving you guys a room tour and my vanity tour, but I'll start with this mirror. I use this mirror obviously to like check my outfits for the day. I also a lot of times like sit on the floor right here and do my makeup like right in front of this mirror, so gets a lot of use. Um, if you come over here, this is like my dresser. I have like my underwear, pajamas, jeans, and then like random bits of clothes that like probably can't be hung up or something. I wanted a way to store my change, but in a pretty way. So I went to Goodwill and I got just these glass jars. So it's like a more attractive way of like storing my coins. This board is from Ikea. Oh yeah, my dresser is from Ikea. This board is also from Ikea. For some reason, I own all three of the Pacifica gummies that they make, and I don't hardly use them, but I do own them all. This is all of the items that I use on my body, like, every day. I do plan on doing a body care video, so if you're interested in that, let me know. And I just have some lotions over here. This Glossier Austin, Texas mug that one of my followers was able to get for me. I put on my Instagram asking if someone could please send me the mug. Like, I paid for it. So, that was really awesome. And I actually drew this little cute picture of Wilma one time. And I put glasses on her because I didn't know how to do her eyes. And it just ruined it. But I think it's so cute. I actually drew a really, a, like, a much, much cuter one of her. But... I don't know where it is. So that is my dresser. And then right next to my bed is this little, like, what is this called? Like a tray thing from Ikea. I keep my lip balms over here, Wilma's, like, eye drops, and my own eye drops. I keep Wilma's little treats right here. Wilma, you want a little cookie? <gasps> you do want a cookie, girl. Oh my god, I'm knocking everything over because I just have one hand. Okay. Here you go, girl. And yeah, I just keep my glasses up there. This is like a little book light. The other one just has like random stuff like my iPad, my Apple Watch. That baggie has like backup batteries and cords and just stuff like that. Some gum. And then right under here, I keep a bunch of hair supplies. I should probably make this look a little bit neater, but whatever. I like to do my hair sitting down like right here, right in front of the mirror. This right here is my bed. It's honestly not anything special. I'm pretty sure the bed frame is from Amazon and I just have some silk pillowcases from that Tarte Awake brand. I have two different pillowcases because I don't know where the other ones are. Like, I don't know, I don't have a pair, so they're two different ones, and I like really, like, smushy pillows. Like, I cannot sleep on a hard pillow. Thankfully, there's, an, like, an outlet right back there, so I just have my laptop cord in there always, and then I have this really cute pillow. I think my sister got it for me for my birthday one year or Christmas. I cannot remember. This thing is really convenient. It's right next to my bed, and it's like, what is this called? I forget what it was called, but it's really convenient. It has like the USB port and like a regular outlet. Like my bedding really isn't anything special. I'm pretty sure that this like blanket is from Target and this is from Costco. And then my Wilma is from the shelter. Right Wilma? Right Wilma girl? Oh my gosh, she's so cute! So right next to this mirror is my closet. I'm not opening up my closet because it is so messy in there and I also don't have a trash can so I use shopping bags as my trash can. So coming on the other side of my room, this door right here is the door to like leave my room and then I have this kind of like, what is this called, like woven or something, but I have this like box and it holds my bags in it. And then this is the bag that I'm using most often right now. I got it from Urban Outfitters like two years ago or something, maybe three years ago. So yeah, but I got this box from Goodwill. So right next to the door is where I store all of my makeup. I am a collector. I have been collecting for years and years. I first started getting into makeup when I was in sixth grade, so probably like 11 or 12, and I'm 23 now, so I have been 
collecting makeup for like 10 years. So yeah, that's why I have so much of it. It's a passion of mine. I do go through my makeup quite often and get rid of items that I like I'm really not using or really not enjoying and I give them to my sister and my sister then brings them to her roommates and they kind of like go through it and pick what they want. So this right here you have seen a million times before. This is just an Ikea drawer set. I used to have a bookshelf going up here but I decided I needed like more room for my makeup because this like this drawer set was a downsize for me but then I started accumulating more makeup again so I took the bookshelf out and I put the Alex drawer set back in I've always had this my like ex-boyfriend in high school put it together for me and I took it out of my room because I didn't need it anymore but then I put it back in so she's back now but anyway on top of this I have this beautiful jewelry holder this is from anthropology so many of you guys asked me on my instagram where it's from and it is from anthropology some of my favorite brands to get jewelry from is my friends online boutique aria and brin i also really like that one website called fraser i think um i also really like kendra scott pieces and francesca's is another good place to get some jewelry so yeah i'm really big on having plants in my room i think it makes for like some really Really good decoration um, I also think it really really helps the air quality especially with me doing my hair in my room and spraying perfume and just all of like the fumes in the air I think that the plants do a really amazing job at keeping the air quality like fresh in my room and then these flowers I just got from my graduation they're kind of dying but I love the way that dead flowers look so I'm going to go through the drawers in my drawer set this top drawer holds my concealers primers and powders over here and then just some like hand sanitizer this next drawer is kind of just like new makeup that i haven't really opened or played with or makeup that i need to like do a video on like especially this stuff back here my Ilya stuff i have been using that and the stuff from undone beauty and then this is another drawer kind of like the top one um it's just keeping stuff that i need to film with and newer items and stuff like that this next drawer is all of my cream cheek products i have another drawer on this side of my powder cheek products but i figured i would keep the two separate because it's definitely like a mood like I need to be in the mood to wear powder product I need to be in a mood to wear a cream cheek product so I separated the two I really like the results of it I think it's going to be a lot more easy to find product that I need so yes this is my cream cheek drawer and then this drawer is all of my Glossier makeup products I am obsessed with this drawer I knew that when I put this additional drawer set in my room that I was going to want a Glossier drawer it's just way easier for me to have something like this because I do reference Glossier quite often a lot of you guys ask for Glossier related content so yeah I just wanted to keep all of my Glossier items together in this really cute drawer I think it looks beautiful because the Glossier packaging is just beautiful I did put a Glossier sticker on there I think I'm going to decorate it a little bit more so that everyone can know that that's my Glossier drawer this one yeah that one's a nothing drawer this one okay this one has all of my extra brushes i do not need this many brushes but i do well sometimes i do need this many because i do sometimes take on freelance makeup jobs so having this many brushes is kind of necessary sometimes and then i do have a bunch of false lashes which really isn't necessary for me but again i do take on freelance makeup jobs sometimes so yeah i do use them a little bit here and there and sometimes i apply them myself but not usually i usually only buy the lashes when they're on sale though so like ulta sometimes does 40 percent off the lashes and then i can get an extra 25 percent off because i work there this drawer is all of my like unopened makeup or like backups of products things i might have gotten from like work or something through like gratis and yeah i'm really not in the position right now that like i'm getting pr from anything so this is just makeup that like i purchased backups of or 
that I get doubles of when they're on sale. And then this right here is my backup drawer of my skincare stuff. So a lot of this is just stuff that I picked up when I had the opportunity of getting it on sale. And yeah, this vanity is from Ikea. However, I had to put it together. These two drawers right here are like shorter Alex drawers. So shorter ones of these. And then you buy this piece separately and stick it on top to like make it into a desk. And then this piece right here is actually three different pieces. So this piece and this piece are like separate and then this piece is separate to this like medicine cabinet mirror so on the top right here i store my perfumes i have my glossier u one this one from urban i have a gucci fragrance back here um this fragrance that i got from germany every time i smell it i just am reminded of my trip and then this one from lancome and then i have this fragrance from anthropology and then i have this one from coach and then this one from philosophy back here and then this one from ariana grande and then this is an Escada perfume. Also on my vanity, I do have my skincare fridge. This skincare fridge was a gift from my boyfriend. I am not going to open it in this video because I do plan on making a skincare fridge video. So if you are interested in that, let me know in the comments down below, but I'm not opening it today because I don't want to give it away. Over here, I just have this basket piece and I got this from Anthropology, and I just put some like makeup sponges in there. They're like really gross and dirty. This is a beautiful like antique item that I got from like a thrift shop and it holds lipsticks. It's so pretty. I don't have any lipsticks in it right now just because I have been like kind of reorganizing everything and I'm going to probably select the lipsticks that I put in here a little bit later. And then I have my brush cup right here and my sponge and my little sponge holder. This is from Shop Miss A. It's only like a dollar. I have another plant right here. I have my TV here. And then I also keep these tucked in, these like Glossier postcards. And I like to use these to like fan out my makeup after I set my makeup. And then this is from the Glossier Play launch the sticker from the glossier play launch so this is actually the next day and for some reason i totally forgot to share with you guys what is in my medicine cabinet and then what is in the drawers so i'm just gonna do that really quick um my medicine cabinet is really like it doesn't have any rhyme or reason really i just have like a lot of skincare up here and then this shelf has more like setting sprays and i have like my two chemical exfoliants back there and then this is more of like the palettes the makeup palettes that i would more often wear but i typically don't wear eyeshadow too too often on a daily basis so yeah but i do keep these separate from like my other drawer of like full eyeshadow palettes the only thing that's like really annoying about this desk is i really should have gotten those like plastic riser things for both of these because the mirror scrapes up the table really bad so here and here the table scraped up and i really could just get a new like table top piece but i don't think i'm gonna bother with that so this drawer right here is kind of just an easy like grab for things that i would wear on a daily basis so i have mascara i have some like random beauty tools over here definitely like my eyebrow stuff i have some lip liners and like regular eyeliners and then my like liner sharpener I have the Kylie Bronze palette right here. She gets special treatment because she's my favorite. And then I have some cheek products that I would usually grab on like a weekly, daily basis. The next drawer is more of like my single eyeshadows. I have like lots of different formulas of single eyeshadows, like obviously liquid ones over here, more like potted versions over here. I have some like glitter liners. I have all sorts of stuff. I have a lot of the ColourPop mascaras and eyeliners. I want to do something cute with those one day, but... I don't know and then this drawer is full of my eyeshadow palettes it's not really organized at all um i just kind of throw them in here and if i need something i know that it's in here it's not like a huge drawer so it's easy to find things that's a junk drawer this is where i keep like my arts and crafts stuff and then on the other side i have foundations in this drawer so i have like my foundations over here like full coverage and then I have more of like my maybe everyday or like less coverage foundations and then back here I have like all my drugstore foundations and then this drawer right here is all of my powdered cheek products all of it like bronzers highlighters and 
blushes. They all are in here. And I think that's really it for makeup. Oh, no, this is my lip drawer. I actually have never had a lip drawer before except for when I reorganized my whole makeup collection like last week. I finally put a lip drawer in. So I have lip pencils. These are kind of like liquid lips and like glosses. All my lipsticks. And then I have um, this kind of like thing for maybe lip products that I use a little bit more often than these other ones. So yeah. This one is just kind of like an extra skincare drawer basically and like feminine care products And then this very last drawer is my hair stuff and then over here is just my glossier shrine just kidding But um, this little bag is from the Seattle pop-up my friend lives in Seattle So she got me a bag. She also sent me the glossier water bottle, which I really need to find I like just thought about that the other day that I don't know where that is and then I just keep like the cute glossier Postcards in there. This one is also from the Glossier Seattle pop-up. This card is from the Miley and Marc Jacobs collab. They collabed on a sweatshirt. The donations from the purchase of the sweatshirt went to Planned Parenthood and my parents got me that just like as a really like a really sweet gift. I was so excited about it. Um, I love the sweatshirt and I do have the other collab that Miley did with Marc Jacob. It was like donations went to skin cancer research and it's like a picture of her like naked and it was like love the skin that you're in or something. So I have that little collab as well. I'm a big Miley fan if you did not know that about me. This is Wilma's little corner. Wilma does have a crate and I do put her in the crate when I'm going to be gone for a long period of time. She doesn't sleep in the crate, she sleeps in bed with me. But the crate is really helpful because she is like so small. So she can get into a lot of things and she can also get stuck in a lot of things. Oh my god, you are just a little mush. You are just a little mush girl. And on top of her crate is just a basket of her like pajamas and more pajamas, a leash. I do have this like backpack thing where I can like strap her on my body, but she doesn't really like it very much. So yeah, that's my little vanity, Wilma's little crate. And then right here is my clothes rack. I like to mainly keep pieces on here that are more like in season. Um, or like newer pieces that I'm wanting to like use. So a lot of the clothes on here are from Urban Outfitters, my friend's clothing line, Aria and Brynn. And then I also have a lot of pieces from Lara's Boutique. And then this turtleneck is like my favorite turtleneck of all time. This is from Goodwill. But yeah, and I feel a lot better when the clothes are like really nice and neat. Um, and like the color scheme is really nice. One thing like an art teacher taught me when I was in middle school was you like separate the hangers and it makes the clothes rack look like a lot neater and it was something i never thought about until she mentioned it so yeah that's what i do how like doesn't that look so much neater than just having everything bunched together and then all of my hangers are all the same they're all from ikea over the summer i babysat for this one little girl her name was ellie and i really miss her <laughs> But I babysat for her and we would like do a lot together like we would take a lot of walks around the neighborhood and while we were on our neighborhood walk this table was just out for trash pickup and I was like oh my god like I kind of want it. So I waited a few hours to like take it because I didn't know like what they were doing with it. I don't know it was just weird and at the end of my like babysitting day it was still there so I made Ellie's older brother, he's like 14 or something, or maybe he was 13 at the time. I made him put that in the back of my trunk so I wasn't seen like taking it. But yeah, that's where I got it from. And it's a little wobbly, but it's not like it's holding anything like super heavy or anything. It just has a few plants on it. I don't know what this plant is called, but it's really pretty and it was perfect for this like second level of the table. So these are my Wilma stickers from Wag Slaps. If you don't know about Wag Slaps, you need to check it out. It's literally the best. And then my boyfriend's sister got me this adorable picture of Wilma. This is actually like one of my favorite pictures of Wilma, um, especially because her little tongue is sticking out, but it is so cute. I actually really want my boyfriend to put it like right here on the wall, but we haven't had a chance to do that and like i said earlier i love dead flowers so this is just some dried up baby's breath and it, they were alive at one point but i just let them die and i really just like how it looks i think it's really pretty for some reason and then this pot is from anthropology 
I don't know what kind of plant this is. I don't know what kind of plant this is, but I take care of them, so whatever. I have this hanging plant right up here, and this like hanging piece is from Amazon. I'm just standing on my bed. So I have three more plants on this, and then I have like some little knick-knacky type things, just like this amethyst stone, and then I have this fossil. I'm obsessed with this fossil. I actually like got it in Germany like I what is that called like mined for it or whatever in Germany and it was just like one of the best days during my trip so I love that day and I love that little keepsake because I'm obsessed with like dinosaurs and fossils I think that they're like the coolest freaking thing this is just a little jar of like just more rocks um these are rocks from the Masada when I climbed the Masada and then these are like the little salt rocks when I was in the Dead Sea in Israel, so I just took some. I wish I had taken more because I would love to fill up like a jar full of them. And then this is just like some, what is this called? Kiddish wine or something? Just some wine from Israel that we took when I was staying in the kibbutz and that was just like the best time. One of my followers and subscribers made this and it's so beautiful. Um, I'll leave her Instagram down below because she's currently taking like custom orders so definitely check her out. And on my Germany trip and my London trip I took a disposable camera and took these photos and got them developed and they look really beautiful. My biggest regret is not taking one to Israel. I completely blanked when I got to the airport. I remembered that I forgot the disposable and I was so upset. But yeah, these are just really cute and I love that I have them. It is just in time because my camera is flashing red, so it's about to die. But that is my room tour. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any suggestions, like other suggestions on how I should organize my makeup, I'm always up for more ideas. I love reorganizing things. Um, or like any part of my room really, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed if you aren't already subscribed Definitely go ahead and do so and hopefully I see you next time